beautiful. The weather has been warming up. It's welcoming us. We have to stay outside for a little bit and play with some power tools, right? It's gorgeous. It's almost the weekend. We are joined by, you are JJ Lund with Shade Garden Centers. Point, you're pointing out this weekend project for us. Moss yeah. and like art. I've never heard of such yeah. a thing. You know, we've, we've really got into the more delicate side of things down here at Shane and Hold <laughs> Garden Center. A couple cowboys yeah, doing this say, stuff. Cowboys, this was not, yeah. this is never your thought that you'd end up be doing this. Yeah, now you're no, like not for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so everybody has been loving like our living walls and things we've been doing. So today we're trying to teach you something that you can make for maybe Mother's Day or just a home decor for your house. It's something perfect easy. Perfect weekend weather for it. Yeah. Fun thing with your kids yep. or maybe get some alone time. Okay, yeah. talk about this one because yeah. I've so never heard of you. living moss art. Yeah, so this is a reindeer moss that we've put on more or less a flat surface. In this scenario, we use some pine lumber um, and then boarded it with some pallet wood and it takes maybe an hour, hour and a half to build. Super easy, and so I'm gonna walk you through the steps today how to do it. This is so cool. Before you move on, what is this designed for? Because this is this is beautiful. Yeah, so this is Lates by Kate. She's starting a new business, opening up a pajama uh, section of her, her, her market, I guess. Um, they're having a big party at our event center tonight, so we built this sign for her so she can put it in her party. So cool. So yeah. again, parties or even your home, you're having us bring it into our own home. Yeah, for I sure. I love that. Okay, so, how do you even start? Is like, so can the, I handle this? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I want you in. I brought the tools for you to be using here, you know. What supplies do we need and tools and Okay, so we have a supply up. list which we're going to supply for everybody, but we um, we actually just went into our shop and found some stuff that we had to build this. Like you can use anything. What you need to start out with is a solid surface. Here we've chosen some two by sixes, right? Mm -hmm. So once you get the two by sixes in, you can pocket join them. You can fasten them together however you want. Or if you just want to use a piece of plywood, can whatever. Can we go back to pocket jointing? Pocket jointing. All right, <laughs> it let's sounds go back. cool. Let's pause for a second. What is pocket jointing? Pocket mean? joining is I'll actually come in and make a joint right here where a, where a screw can go through this board into the next board. It's easier than it sounds. Okay. If you go to Home Depot, say I need a pocket joiner, they know exactly they what you're talking and about. And what's really great about the style right now is that it doesn't have to be perfect. Exactly. Is that right? Like, exactly. you know, you can, the board can be a little, you know, yep. that's the thing. It's yep. like the uh, the funky aged look. Yeah, is that for right? Sure. You're the special La Last year here. with Brooke, we taught everybody how to make this wood look antique by okay. using some vinegar oil. So you can search it and figure that out. Look at on that. One of my other Episodes. Another weekend activity. Yeah, another weekend activity. All right, so show us. Anyways, what's to do so next? you start out with here flat surface. If you wanted it white, you get some melanin. I mean, you can use whatever you want, right? Cool. Flat surface. Then your next thing is is go grab your tablet, your computer, something. We're getting okay. pretty crazy here. Today I wrote. I don't know. Hopefully you can see that. The reflection, maybe yeah. not. I wrote go jazz. Perfect. I, I want to make a go jazz sign, right? I love it. So pretty much whatever you want, send that to Kinko's or any printing center and they can print it off to the scale that you want it, okay? Okay. So once you have that, this is what it'll look like. And here, this is beautiful. we did one that says home. Cause you know, I'm a homey kind of guy. And <laughs> I'm a cowboy yeah, in wanna, Orem. I wanna make this for my mother for Mother's Day, I guess, right? Great idea. <clears throat> so once you're at okay. this point, you're gonna take a stapler, you're gonna staple it quite a few times around, maybe close to the letters. All right, and once, so now we have a outline of where we're gonna do okay. the moss. Get your knife, cut it out. Okay. However I you want, even right? Do that. Like, can yeah. I like look? Like, so you just literally do around there. Heck okay. Yeah. We can all do this. Yeah. I'm proof. Totally do it. Oh, this is fun. It was I'm like, shaking. <laughs> okay, not perfect is fine. Okay, so after you get it all cut out, you're gonna pull obviously the lines out that you cut. Then we're gonna get our reindeer moss here. Okay, yeah, let's, the moss hole thing. Okay. I mean, is this a new hip trend? I yeah, haven't seen like living trend. art like this. It adds green to your house. Everybody's into the environment friendly. I mean, this, you walk into your house, you got something green on your wall, automatically you're environment friendly. And it can be inside Inside or outside? or outside. So this is a preserve. It's not living, but it's actually preserved. So you can see the moisture that it's already brought mm -hmm. in here, right? So you're gonna take this out of the box. I, my mind is so blown. This is so cool. Yeah, you're just gonna get a simple hot glue gun. You're gonna apply some glue in all the places where you cut out, and you're gonna glue in this moss. All right. Okay. And it just that's it. It's just that. <laughs> I mean, you you put it in there, you let it sit. So does it last for a day, a week? It'll last for a year. No so once way. we get that in, we're gonna pull the, all the the paper off. We're gonna okay. take out the staples. Mm-hmm. And then, <laughs> Look at that. love it. 
then you can add a border to it. And in this scenario, we're just gonna do pallet wood like we did that sign and so making your own frame out. too. Yeah, you can make your own frame, you make it however you want. You can use metal. I mean, any kind of look that you want, you could do. And you say you can just, you know, spray it a little bit. Like how often you so need to keep this wet or I don't need do to trim it down. It's a preserve, right? If you don't spray it, it'll get dry. Okay. But if you spray it once every two months, it'll keep that green look and last for probably a year, if not longer. Can we see, like, so let's look at your finished product one more okay. time. And like, hanging it up, where does it go? You said inside, outside. I mean, I, I, just tell us a little bit more. How, how, what else do you see doing this? I see monograms. I see those birthdays, you know, first one-year-old, yeah. two-year-old. Yeah, Anything. it's an easy way to do it. It looks very custom for very cheap. Like, if it was me, I would write a, I'd probably draw a picture of a pickup truck and put it on my wall in my house, you know? Something cool. Maybe somebody wants a heart I'm inside, thinking, outside. I always like the monogram look too, initials yeah. or something. And it's hardy. So you said it's so easy, like this is easier than taking care of any other plant? Better than a Chia Pet. <laughs> Do you sell pre-made ones for ones, people like me who are yeah. a little more nervous? Yeah, so obviously Kate hired us to build this one for her for her event. Uh, we do carry about all the supplies in the store. Get your typical lumber at Home Depot. We sell this. A box of this is about $40. That's a great question price-wise. Um, this would only need maybe a quarter of the box, so you'd have a lot more for additional things. So team things. up with friends this weekend or family, maybe yep. each make one. That's a really fun yep. little picnic idea too. It's easy. That is so easy. So, and then what else? I, this trend, living, is there anything else we should know about in your so store right now store, to check we, you out? We have a, you? Yeah, we have a ton of different ideas in the store. Lots of different things we do with potting, with living walls, and obviously you can buy all this stuff at our store. Come down, get some ideas, pick up what you need, check out our event center, book your party and your wedding reception, and just come hang out with okay. us. So cool you're so fun to be around too oh, and you. moss like seriously who would have thought you're a crafty country boy yeah, i'm getting there I'm learning as i go <laughs> Go visit him in orem come on down where, where is your location yeah, 435 south geneva road awesome awesome weekend activity hey go jazz thank you yeah, i want to see jazz. your jazz one send Woo. us a picture all right we'll do <laughs> thank you so much